This is the Mercedes AMG EQS 53 4Matic Plus. And not only does it have a ridiculously long name, but it's the first Mercedes AMG model to be powered exclusively by electricity. It's certainly going to be difficult for some purists to swallow, but AMG has done its best to win them over by chucking in performance focused electric motors that deliver Porsche Taycan levels of performance. It even makes a noise. Now that the car has made its debut at the Munich Motor Show, here are 5 things you need to know about the Mercedes AMG EQS 53 4Matic Plus. But before I jump into the list, why not give us a thumbs up if you like what you see and subscribe for more awesome videos just like this one. The full fat AMG 63s get some serious design tweaks to set them apart from their ordinary counterparts but the less crazy 43 and 53 models tend to feature more subtle styling. And that's the case with the EQS 53, and you'll need to look very closely to spot all the differences. The big changes include a new black panel at the front of the car with vertical chrome struts to mimic the look of a grille. Mercedes claims the front bumper has been revised too, though it appears to be exactly the same design as the one on the Edition 1 EQS. It is however different to the base spec EQS which has also appeared at the Munich Motor Show. The same goes for the back end which is different to the standard EQS but seems to match the Edition 1. Down the sides are AMG specific skirts in gloss black and there's a slightly larger rear spoiler compared to the EQS AMG line. You'll also get to choose 21 and 22 inch wheels that are specific to the AMG 53. AMGs have never been particularly light cars as they typically major on power over agility, but with the EQS 53 being an electric car it makes the rest of AMG's lineup seem like featherweights. The car weighs in at 2655 kilograms, making it the same weight as the AMG G63 SUV and some 700 kilos heavier than the already quite portly E63 S. So AMG has worked its magic to keep all of that weight from getting in the way of a good drive. The base EQS gets multi-link suspension both front and rear. That's still the case on the AMG model though the company has tweaked it to give it a sportier drive. In fact, Mercedes says that anything to do with driving dynamics is new and AMG specific, including a new rear axle beam, subframe and motor mounts. There's also AMG's Ride Control Plus air suspension, which allows you to change the characteristics of the ride through different driver modes. That's coupled up with rear wheel steering, which comes as standard on the AMG 53 for improved agility. And to top it all off, you get new AMG brakes because there's an awful lot of car to slow down. Electric cars are already immensely fast as they have near instant torque, so the regular EQS should be pretty nippy when it needs to be. Not only is the AMG version significantly more powerful than the non-AMG car, it's actually just as powerful as the Porsche Taycan Turbo S. In fact, you can watch my review of the Taycan Turbo by clicking the link in the top right hand corner. As standard, the EQS 53 4Matic Plus comes with two AMG specific electric motors, one on each axle, that together produce 658 horsepower and 950 newton meters of torque, helping it go from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 3.8 seconds. That's staggeringly fast for a 2.7 ton electric saloon. But that's just the standard car. If you tick the dynamic performance pack on the options list, power is raised to 761 horsepower and 1020 newton meters of torque, matching the Taycan Turbo S on outright horsepower. And of course, the 0 to 62 mile per hour time is lowered to 3.4 seconds. Top speed is limited to 155 miles per hour on cars with the dynamic performance pack and that dips to 137 on the base EQS 53. But power is nothing without energy, and you're going to need somewhere to store it all. Thankfully, the AMG EQS 53 4Matic Plus has a mighty big battery. 
Underneath the cabin sits a lithium-ion battery with a usable capacity of 107.8 kilowatt hours, which is hooked up to the car's 400 volt electric architecture. So far, so normal EQS. However, Mercedes has fitted new wiring that's bespoke to the AMG model. Sure, it doesn't sound as sexy as new pistons, but Mercedes says the wiring will help deliver a sportier drive. In terms of range, you're looking at 327 miles for cars with the Dynamic Performance Pack and 360 miles for the standard EQS 53. It doesn't match the claimed 478 mile range of the base EQS, but that's to be expected with a performance model. The EQS 53 can also utilize 200 kilowatt rapid charging, providing you with 186 miles of range in just 19 minutes providing you could find a supported charger, and there aren't that many in the UK at the moment. Mercedes is keeping pricing under wraps for now, but we're expecting the AMG EQS 53 Formatic Plus to cost around £135,000, and with the car appearing in production form in Munich, expect sales to open at some point early next year. Of course, in the meantime, you can find plenty of deals on electric and piston-powered Mercedes-Benz over at yesauto.co.uk.